Good night guys, um, just giving a quick update from my last upload which was on Tuesday. Um, we looked at this trade, this UCAD trade here. And I did say that it was going to buy and it came to um, this exact spot here. Um, so initially, the perfect time to get in this trade was here. Right, um, but by the time I made the video, the trade was somewhere around here, and I did did pull this here, right? And I said maybe enter this trade here, and could use a ten to fifteen pip stop loss, right? See, it came back into the zone, and it bought for. Eighty pips. So I said this would have been your first TP, second TP, third TP. Right. So we had TP one there. We can look for some consolidation. I broke this zone here and then go for the next um next buy. So what we're looking for. So um, if you are like me and have to close off trades for the weekend or like to close off trades for the weekend we have to look for a next entry and let's start with sorry yeah so we'll look for opportunities to form our next channel i'm already seeing one here Right, so you can see it broke out of the channel there. Wasn't here this channel all the time. Finally broke out. We're looking for a retest here. Press on the zone here. And then buy. Right, let's see. Now, seeing that is, we are looking for, now we're seeing this downtrend was getting exhausted there, or it got exhausted. So, we are looking for a buy now. What we're looking to do is to form a next channel. Right, we're using this zone that we currently use, remember. This way of trading, we use zones and channels. So you have to use, use a little bit of sense in terms of you're using your zone for support, which your channels basically is like a support or resistance in a sense. Um, you see we got the touches here off of this zone and this zone that we draw here you got a touch and guess what you, you, you got your buy right so this is just this line now it doesn't have to play out this way but this is a, a good way to set it up in terms of if it does come back to touch this line here based on these touches here we then look for the buy now I did say that most likely it would come up here, consolidate a little bit and then buy. Now this cross is very important. Remember, anytime it comes by crosses like these and it go it is going in the trend direction where as I said we are looking for buys right now. We look to buy. Right? So anywhere here you can look for an entry. Um replacing the stop below the cross, right? So Closer down to here. Now I'm somebody who's look look for ten to maybe fifteen twenty pips of stop loss, right? I would look to get the stop loss at the um, stop loss, right? Most of the time, this cross here, if it comes pretty close to the cross, I'd wait, wait as long as possible and see what the action is. The 
fact, I won't even wait for a reaction as it comes down to this cross here. I am buying. I am not going to wait. Form your next channel. Oops. Why, why, why? Okay. Right. It did say come up here. Maybe here. Right. Come up here. Again. So you'll get this kind of movement here. Consolidate, buy from here, buy from around here, and then come here, consolidate again, buy. Now you see this cross here is very important. You'll get a reaction. It be a small sell, or it will either price will either break this zone once again and consolidate and go again, right? And that is how we keep we keep following the trend, right? Um, so that's you card. Card. Now again, this might look confusing to y'all. Just let's focus on this channel here. This one, this one, or maybe this one. I had to close off. I came out with, I think, like 75 pips. What I will do, wait to see how the market open. Um, and I'll be selling again. I need, to, I need to see what price is doing. I can't call anything right now on this pair. So, GU. This is on the hour time frame. Still see price coming down to, to the support here. Then we have to see what will happen. Let me see. Let me go down to a lower time frame. No, still overall, I think GG is, GU is going to sell. Just need to find an entry. GU needs to close this gap, so we still have a... See? GU is coming here. Or here. Alright, look at that pip movement there. Just bear with me for a while. Okay, so again, we're using some points there, as in one, two, we could even pull it to here. This is clear contact because of the zone here. If you realize, if I had, let's delete this. Watch what happened. So do this over and over again with the chart. So ultimately, JJ again, safe, very safe, very safe TP is here, All right? But it's going to go lower than that because I said it has to close this gap here. Um, if we're looking for entry now, let's go to the 15 minutes.
I have to see what price to when it open. If I do anything right now, I would be guessing. See that? So we might get a, a bounce off of this. Probably look for a buy. Look for a buy and then sell. Right? But watch to see what market, market does on Sunday. Until then, do not, do not, I repeat, do not go into a sell immediately. Um, because this could happen. Let's see what is happening right now. Let's just say, just like in card, remember I told you it was selling for a bit, right? And then it got into a wedge here. So what will happen? It could probably come back here. And if you realize um, it's uh, head and shoulders, right? If it does come back up here, we're looking for a sell, right? But Right here, we are going to get some sort of reaction, as I say, it's reaching to a cross here. Might buy, then sell. Until then, I cannot give any kind of... Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing. This is a, a important point here. Okay, let me see. Okay, looking at wrong here again is this zone, this zone here, maybe come back up and then sell, and that will give us the confirmation of the head and shoulders, and then sell off. around here this is what we're looking at everything falling in line so let me explain something so i did say this gap has to close right also when we was on the higher time frame i was showing you this on the hour time frame this was a channel right and pull this line here it needs to fill this one that is one confirmation i'm also telling you that it's coming in a wedge here it might buy and that will also give us a confirmation of the head and shoulders now what is what i would say would work in our favor which i could see it playing out is that everything is lining up so for head and shoulders what you typical typically do is check the pick count to the head right to the, top of the head to the shoulder which is about give or take one one let's say 150 right now you check that pip count, you add 150 to that, to the movement you want to get after it breaks through. So after the price passes here, you check 150. Again, and that is a typical head and shoulder move that you'll be looking for. 150, which is at least at the zone and looks where, look where it falls, directly on the trend line. Right? But you might get more of a movement again, because I said it needs to co close this gap. But here is a safe TP. All right, so let me show you that again. 150. 150 by 2 is 300. All right, you can see, give or take. All right. One. Two, TP three. And I said we're looking for entry around what madness.
second time through around here. All right, we'll see what price does around here, and then we'll look for an entry. I right, said, so looking at big movements here, come next week. Hopefully we get that push before Christmas. All right, guys, so I'll give you all, give you all an update. Maybe I mightn't be around on Sunday, right? Um, so just look out for this. Maybe Monday you'll see me again.